Have you ever had a folder on your Windows 11 desktop that just refuses to delete no matter what you try? You try everything and Windows gives you this annoying error. Could not find this. This is no longer located in blah, blah, blah. This is a ghost folder. Let's get into it. It says it's not there, but it's clearly sitting right there mocking you. It's a ghost folder and it's driving you crazy. I've got one I've been saving for this video. I'm gonna show you the methods that don't work to remove it. Then I'll show you the Windows glitch that creates it and the easy solution to remove it. And it's already on your PC. But first, a message about the channel. Real quick, I wanna share some exciting news about the channel. Now that the channel's just over a year old, I've decided to take it to that next level and enable channel memberships. Now, of course, you can subscribe and it's completely free and I hope that you do. But in addition to that, if you want to help support the channel, you can become a channel member for less than a cup of Starbucks. With that, you'll get priority responses to your comments because as the channel gets bigger, it's gotten to the point to where I can't respond to every comment. You'll also get other perks along the way, like members only content, early access to videos, and direct access to me through email. So if you have some questions or problems or need some consulting, you can access me directly through email as a paid member. I will also continue to add more perks. So please consider becoming a member, but if not, that's okay, but make sure you subscribe to the channel. Subscribing to the channel really helps me grow the channel and get me to that goal of 50,000 subscribers. Thank you, and let's get back to the video. It's important to distinguish between this ghost folder and the more common locked file or folder. You will often get an error that you can't close a file because it is being used by another program. That's an easy enough fix. Close the offending program, kill the process, or just reboot your machine. That's not what a ghost folder is. A ghost folder is there, saved on your hard drive, but Windows refuses to acknowledge it. More on that later. Let's look at the ghost file on my PC and try to use the traditional methods in Windows and a third party tool. Spoiler alert, they don't work. Let's check it out. On my computer, here is my offending folder called Backup and Restore. And no matter what I do, that's going to give me that cannot find error, right? More specifically, if I open it up, here's another folder and another folder. It's actually this folder here. So this switch between scene folder. I try to delete it, nothing. When I first discovered this error before I found a solution, this was some time ago and I tried all of the different commands for the console, PowerShell, you name it. I tried multiple different third-party software and nothing seemed to work. For the purposes of today's demonstration, I'm not going to go through all of the methods I tried before. I will demonstrate a command that does not work and also one third-party software tool that did not work. Before we jump into what's causing the problem and what we do to resolve it, the first thing I'm going to do is open up a terminal. I've copied the commands here just to make it quicker. I'll explain what they're doing. So the first thing I'm going to do is simply just change from the C drive to the D drive where the folder is located. And now I'm gonna list out the directory within that folder. And I can show you that here, that folder switch between scene is right here. Windows sees it, it's there. I see it, you see it, we see it. I'm gonna put in my command to force delete it. The system cannot find the file specified. Just like within Windows Explorer, it's there, we see it, but then you try to delete it, Windows says it can't find it. Okay, so then I moved on to some third-party software, and that software is called Unlock It. It's a free program out there used to unlock and force delete files and folders in Windows. So let's go back here to this file. I'm gonna do a right click on it, and I'm gonna go right here to Unlock It and go down to the Delete function. It's gonna say, are you sure you wanna delete this backup and restore switch between scene file that Windows doesn't recognize? And I'm gonna say yes. It's going through its process says the folder was deleted successfully so let's close it but it's still here what do you mean it was deleted successfully it is still there okay let's try this again i'm going to go over here to delete delete folder i'm going to navigate to where that folder lives it's right here i'm going to select the folder it's going to again ask me if you're sure you want to delete this folder 
Yes. And now I can see it gets going through a process down here, but look right here, resource does not exist. Let's refresh that. It's processing, resource does not exist. So we're still here on this folder. Let me go inside the folder. I'm gonna come up here and copy the path as text and show you something interesting. So I want you to notice something right here where my cursor is specifically. Notice the space after scene, right? I'm gonna do a quick backspace. Now there's no space. There was a space. This is actually where the problem begins. Let me explain. Windows has some very specific rules on folder naming conventions. You can't have a space or dot, etc. after the folder name. If you try to create a folder name and put a space after it, Windows does what essentially amounts to an autocorrect and removes the space, right? Well, then how did the space get there? We'll get to that in just a minute. Let me just show you what I'm talking about. So let's just move over here to this test folder that I've got. I'm gonna come in here and create a new folder and I'm going to name it test folder two and I'm gonna put a space behind it. So now watch what happens when I click off of it. Let's go back on there and let's go to rename. All right, notice there is no space behind the two because Windows thinks it's being helpful and removes the space behind the two. That's completely fine when you create folders within Windows. So we're seeing the beginnings of the issue here. If you create a folder name in Windows, put a space behind it, dot, anything like that, it'll just auto-correct it and remove it. And that's okay. The problem becomes when you use third-party software tools, any type of creative software, anything that can create folders in Windows. Because you see, Windows is very particular about its file naming conventions when you are creating the folder name within Windows, but it still allows third-party software to create folder names with those illegal spaces and characters. And that's where the problem lives. So there's two parties at play here. You have the Windows File Explorer, but then you have the NTFS file system where the file actually lives on the hard drive. And it's very literal. You can save a folder name to the hard drive with that space behind it. The problem is the Windows File Explorer refuses to acknowledge or recognize it. That's where your problem comes in. Windows File Explorer sends a command to the NTFS file system to delete the folder name that it's auto-corrected without that space behind it. But the NTFS file system looks and says, no, no file here with that name because the one that's recorded on the hard drive has the space behind it. And that is the birth of your ghost folder. So how do you fix it? If you can't delete it within Windows, you can't use third-party deletion tools, you can't even use the command prompt to force delete it. Well, here's the interesting thing. Remember, Windows thinks it's being useful. It's auto-correcting folder names that meet its strict file naming requirements. The NTFS file system on the hard drive doesn't care it's literal. And you have third-party software that really doesn't care about File Explorer's OCD when it comes to naming conventions. Third-party software use their own logic to create folder names. So really, here's the glitch. The glitch is Windows File Explorer is very specific about naming conventions and autocorrects to match, but at the same time, it will allow third-party software to create illegal file names resulting in the ghost folder. Why Microsoft won't fix this? Your guess is as good as mine. Hey, it's Microsoft. But here's the solution that lives on your computer. So let's go back to that offending folder. So what we're going to use is a file compression tool. I'll explain why. So if you're running Windows 11, 7-zip is built in. You may also have WinRAR. Either will work. What we're going to do is right click on the folder. Go down here to show more options. Go here to the 7-zip menu and add to archive. Now this is the very important step. You need to check this box here to delete files after compression and then just click OK. Now you have the compressed zip file. It has deleted the original offending file and now you can just delete that and it's gone. So why did that work? Well, because 7-zip don't give a flip about Windows Explorer's OCD file naming conditions. It recognizes the space at the end of the file that's recorded on the hard drive, and during that compression process, deletes said file. Good to go. Will Microsoft ever fix this glitch? Probably not, but at least now you know how to get rid of it with something that's already on your PC. Now, when I first encountered this, 
I looked up every YouTube video, did Google searches, and all of the tubers were telling me to use the third-party software, all of these different command prompts, and nothing works. It was frustrating, and I finally found the solution deep down in the depths of Reddit after attempting all of these different methods. Hope this is helpful for you, and you don't have the same frustration that I had. But listen, now that this is done, I want to prove my theory to you, and we're now going to create a ghost folder. I figured out that in my case, it's my video editing software. When I create folder names and projects in my editing software, and there happens to be an invalid character, that's what's creating it. So let me show you. So I use CapCut. I know, I know, I know. Let's just add a file here. I'm gonna export this clip. Here's where the problem happens. Let's say that I were to name this Scene 2. Right now, I'm okay. But let's just say I decided, you know what, no, I don't want the two in there and just hit backspace. Notice there is still a space behind the word Scene because I didn't hit backspace twice. So now let's select a test folder that I have here on my desktop. Let's go inside this test folder too. Let's use this. I'm gonna export my file. It's gonna call it scene with the space behind it and into that folder and I'm gonna export. Okay, so here we are, test two. Here's the folder scene. Let's delete that and see what happens. Oh look, could not find this item. This is no longer located in C users, blah, blah, blah. There's your ghost folder. That's how it's being created because of a glitch in the Windows file system and creating folder names in third-party software. Let's cancel that out. Use our new method that is so simple. So simple that it was annoying to realize how easy it was versus all I went through before finding this method. Show more options. 7-zip, add to archive, delete after compression. We have our compressed folder and delete. Gone, problem solved. And there you have it. What are your thoughts? Did this help you out with your ghost folder? Drop me a comment below. Also drop me a comment below on any future video suggestions you might have. Do me a favor, please like and share the video and subscribe to the channel. Subscribing to the channel really helps me grow the channel and get me to that 50,000 subscriber goal. And of course, you can always take it to that next level of support and become a member. Don't forget to check out these other videos. And as always, thank you for watching and until next time.